Well, kind of day three. Another day at work because it's Monday, and now an evening of um, well, bashing again in there. No rest for me. No rest for you. It must have been wicked. <laughs> so tonight, tiles are coming up on the floor, and if these are a right pain in the backside, I've only got myself to blame because I laid them. So they'd have been laid properly, but if they're a pain to get up, it's my fault. <laughs> get on with it. Okay. Hello. What? Hello. What? Hello. Hello. What are you shooting for? How's it going? All right. How are these ones coming up compared to the walls? <coughs> Let me show you. when you lay things properly. Brilliant. And use the proper grout and glue and everything. Yeah. It does help that they're on a solid surface. <laughs> yeah. No problems. Oh. Oh. We'll come back later then. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was an uneventful video. <laughs> so there you go, half hour pretty much. All the floor tiles are up. Um, yeah, it does help when you're on a solid surface. It's floorboard here, and the grout I used was obviously pretty good stuff. Uh, it was flexible because it's obviously on a moving floor, and it's the stuff I was told to use. But uh, yeah, they were pretty much coming up almost as uh, as one piece. You'd probably reuse some of those if you were desperate enough. <laughs> um, so this is going to be a, a bit of a short video. This one will be part three, but um, I think what I'm going to do is include some of the remedial work of uh, replacing these walls as well. Um, yeah, plaster wall should be here tomorrow, so maybe tomorrow evening. Um, I can get busy, probably do a bit of cleaning up tonight, get rid of some of the uh, the rubbish that's on the walls and um, plan to get plan to get the new boards on maybe tomorrow, who knows. Right, well that's it for the floor. Um, let's go and get them in the skip. Oh. That's about ready to have a panel put in it, as is that, and pretty much got that ready. A little bit of tidying up because that actually goes into the wall, so I'm going to try and get some of that out as much as possible uh, to interlock it. Obviously, um, not going to do much on this side for now because I'm going to have to cut, I think, a fair bit of this out here and uh, and shore it up and uh, and box it all in because obviously that's where the uh, the shower control is going to go. Uh, so I'm not going to do too much on that, um, I should do that as and when, but to be honest this side isn't too bad, there's a little bit there that was rotten, obviously it needs a, uh, a slab putting in the bottom there as well, but on the whole, patch yourself with a bit of plaster, it's pretty solid still, so that side will probably go again to be honest, but for tonight that is about it, yeah when you work 10-12 hours a day and then you start doing stuff like this at night, the takes its toll, as you as you may hear. I am uh, a little out of breath. Did I say I'm old as well? Did I mention that? I think I did at some point. Anyway, that'll do for now. Um, so, um, next bit, plasterboard on the walls. Tidy all up. It's getting there, slowly. Well, it's another day for me. Uh, the same video for you, part three. So, I left it last night. Preparing the walls, this one, that one, and that one there for plasterboard. And of course, parts turned up today. So, tonight's job. Um, yeah. <laughs> plasterboard, back on the walls again. I can't say I'm looking forward to it. I'm a little tired, but hey, it's got to get done. Alright, let's get measured up and get the first bits cut. And here's the sheets. Let's get cutting. Well, I got a little bit further. Not quite as far as I wanted to get, but yeah, I finished late at work today after a 12 hour shift. And uh, yeah, that last one in there was a bit of a pain. I had to sort of um, hook it in there as well as clear the bottom bit and try and squeeze it in the top as well. So it was a bit of a pain in the backside, certainly getting it in, in, that, uh, 
in that gap there I really did struggle with it and it's a big heavy piece and difficult to do in one job lot but it's in there uh, and it's functional it's not pretty but it's going to be covered um, and I'll plaster it over and do all sorts of crazy things with it as well but uh, yeah got uh, got the side bits done and got the back of the share bit done uh, so tomorrow uh, just put that little, last little bit in there and uh, and then well the shower came tonight so um, yeah start figuring out how to put that in there um, let me go and have a look at the share itself because I've not actually seen it yet so the big unboxing <laughs> well, it's got to before me so, there you go Ooh, we've got, got hose hose and uh, I believe the actual shower knob is there. Let me unbox that. Let's have a look at it. So there you go. Not going to get it out of the box, but that is the thermostatic shower, uh, which is all good. And uh, that is the plate. So as you can see at the end, what's going to happen is that'll be on the wall. There'll be two knobs, and uh, that's all you'll see. The rest of it will be hidden in the background. I just want to check actually that it's 22 mil going into the hot feed. Uh, it certainly is. That is good. That is good. Um, in fact, it looks like 22 mil going into the uh, cold feed as well. Unusual, but there you go. Right, um, that is the concealed shower, and the rest of it's in there. I'm not going to mess with it tonight because. Quite frankly, I've, uh, I've had enough. So um, catch me for the next part, um, whether that be part of this video or whether it be a new part. We shall see.